Hello there everybody, it's World Legend here, and we are back playing for you guys Dragon Quest XI. Now, I remember there was a little comment I did make. Oh, they even changed her, uh, portrait. My uncle's giving me so much, and they're not going to be afraid anymore. But please, let me keep you. I think I'll stay here for a while in the slippery. You should go back to the inn and rest. Oh, well, there's Jay being jealous. Nah, I'm kidding. Jeez, Jade, trying to get me in bed? Alright. I'm kidding, and I'm sorry about that, too. Still, that should mean that... Yeah, oh, well, there's Oomful. There's Buff, Cob Off, Accelerate, Magic Barrier, Bounce, Blunt, Stab, all the scissors that she had in Frizzle. Crackle. Crackle Whoosh, she has a lot of spells. She really has become a sage. Bang and Boom are the important ones. Dazzle, Fizzle, Fuddle, Fuddle. Uh, character build. She's gained all those points from her sister as well. Um. Let's finish up Spears, so... Be like water. Okay. Bring up her magical might a bit as well. Sage's Breath, which is good. Channel Angler. Channel Anger. Angler. Alright. Well, I kind of don't have to worry about not giving her Supplicant now, do I? And I probably should have went for the rest of the hymns, but I was more focused on getting her some stuff here. Okay. Pretty much just missing this from Bim. I'll just go for the... Yeah. Enchanting Echo. That is probably more than worth it. Oh, and Harpistry's gain too. Have I gained anything? I probably should get grab Giga Slash and Giga Gash. Uh, I am kind of hoping to start grabbing the strength tiles from here, though. Mostly the sword mastery one. That's gonna require some leveling up to do. Well, back to sleep, I guess. Like, y'all just saw me left, though. I am actually curious, though. How much... She doesn't have as much magical might, unfortunately. But she does gain access to new magical... Okay. So then, I'm going to give her both the healer and her sister's card, the supplicant. Oh! That's him? Good morning! Or should I say, good afternoon? The sun's already high in the sky. Father Benedictus dropped by earlier. 
he says he has something to show us at the top of the mountain. Everyone else has gone on ahead. But I thought I'd wait for you. Shall we go and join them? There's a little door to the right of the cathedral. The path is through there. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna say it. If that was all we get for Serena, I feel like Veronica and Serena's story was shafted entirely. Now, th there's... <sighs> I want to stress that there's nothing wrong with that. Actually, if she's gonna be, um... We have enough physical brawlers on the side, so perhaps I should switch her to, uh... Wait, what? Okay, so this would up her magical might by a lot. And probably also help the mending. I will purchase this and hold on to it. And if I discover that her being uh, mostly spear based isn't working out too well, we'll go swap them out. I will admit this, I'm very shocked at what they did. Very shocked. I wholly thought... Uh... Nani. But I entirely, I, I truly did not believe that they would actually take her away from us the way they did. I'm sorry, I'm just pausing, but like... If you look at all the stories, right? So we had Hendrik, who we literally went through the first, like, arc of this coming back bit from. And we helped him kind of redeem himself. Not just him, but uh, King Cornelian as well. And he, he, he became our, our vanguard, our shield. He was the first party member that we got back. Then we went with Silvando and we helped him reconnect with his own father and as well as like help people try and bring back, well, basically gather people who want to bring back smiles to the world, you know? Even Jade had her bit where she was, oh, well her whole thing was getting her back from like the uh... Her whole thing was basically working off her charm. She doesn't really have as much character as I would have wanted. But even Rob, we went to the um, the mountaintop and we got him back. And we discovered so much about him. We even learned special techniques. Jade had, didn't have much of an arc to her. It was just more like getting her back. Mostly because a lot of what happened with her was already like, you know, there, out there. You know, like, oh, she's the princess and she was your best friend. And she already had a lot of hearts for suffering. She promises not to let you go. Serana and Veronica didn't really get all that. Veronica was very much the stiff, while Serana was the, the dits. And it, it sounds like I'm taking away from the character, I really don't mean to. Serana was always very much the light, the, 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 the lighter half of the two, you know, always being very jovial and happy. Veronica very cynical and, you know, tough. With a soft side to her, as was the case with that cutscene that we saw. But just, it, if if this is all we get, you know, the, the grieving, I, I know it can't happen because we have a mission to do. It's, it's every, every war story 
or fighting the big bad when someone dies, you know. It, again, bringing back up Fire Emblem Fates. When Scarlet goes away, you just... He, the, we almost said it best. Just stop. Just, he, he's like, we need to keep moving. You need to keep moving on. There's no time for sorrow or tears. You have to keep moving. You have to keep moving on. Because if you stop, you're going to dwell on it, and it's going to just sap you of the, of the will to continue. So I do hope there's a greater emphasis on getting the bird for Serana, for her growth, and I, I hope we see more. Ah, there you are. So glad you could finally join us. Idrisil blessed me with another vision in the night. I saw... Veronica, standing upon this very ledge. It is known as Luminary's Landing. When Erdwin descended from the heavens after facing the Dark One, this is where he alighted. And this is the Calamus Flute. In my dream, Veronica played upon it. It once belonged to the great sage Serenica. She left it in Arborea on her final visit, the day after the Dark One finally fell. I gave it to Veronica as a memento of her heroic ancestor. And yet, when I awoke this morning, there it was, upon my pillow. It is a sign. The flute will reveal the path you must tread. Serena, my child, if you would be so kind. Of course. Hmm. I think I must be doing it wrong. But if Veronica was playing it in Father Benedictus's vision, it must be the key. Can you try, perhaps? That's an indirect kiss, Serana. The mark! It's glowing! <laughs> the luminary looks a little bit done, like, really? Y'all just gonna make things hella bright for me? Gonna put me on the spot here? <laughs> Are you? Are you? What the? Yeah, that's mine. You get the. You, you, you hit the nail on the head there, Jade. A fishing rod? I fear it is I who am seeing visions. <laughs> I'm right there with you, Hendrick, but I know the background to this. Oh, go on, darling. Reel it in. Giovanni, you're taking this in stride, my dude, but I'm not. <gasps> That's a whale. Actually, it looks like the windfish to me. I was like, we're gonna have a whale of a time. Ha <laughs> ha! I got to use it! I'm ashamed of myself. So it was as I suspected. It was upon her back that you rode in my dream. Benedictus, I'm beginning to think that you're just making this up as you go along. The sacred conveyance of the luminary, Cetacea. It seems that she heeds the call of the flute. You must play it whenever you require her aid. Go, Luminary, and seek out the floating island. It is the world tree's will. Whatever awaits you there will surely aid you in the fight against the Lord of Shadows. Do not let Veronica's sacrifice be in vain. Now. Oh, 
Oh, please tell me the whale speaks. Oh, she's kind of cute. She's really cute. I like her. Tasha? I like her. Ooh. I hope that's, uh, all right. Just check the... Oof, that, that's a worry. I checked the recording and I, I looked and I'm like, wait, the screen stopped. Alright. Well, we have uh, a few floating aisles to go to. I'm gonna go to the ones in the distance. What's this? Land at Laguna de Condolia? No, oh, okay, so we can land there. At the battleground? Okay, we've had a lot unlocked to us right now. I, I don't know what, okay. Oh god, it's inverted. We'll just end at the battleground. We'll see if there's a, a spot to go save. There's a, a lot that just happened in this episode, and I'm like... Oh. Um... Okay. God, there are so many jokes and references I could be making here, but I'm choosing not to. Well, actually, we should go to Gondolia and see if uh, there's an orb there. Actually, we can party talk right now, and that might be the, for the best. I'm still kind of upset about the Veronica thing, I'm not gonna lie. There's no one to talk to at the moment. <laughs> got numerous places. I also want to go to Hoto, but the light seems to be telling us to go to Gondolia. I'm just going the wrong place all the time. Oh! I don't check this place out, right? New stuff has been unlocked. Found some wormwood. More wormwood. I'm gonna guess we're gonna find a dragon here. Strange. What is this little spot? Oh, well, there's a little grass area we can. Get out of here. We are... <laughs> we are not finding what we're supposed to do. Gotta have to save that for the next episode, too.
I have to go to that other flying island. Speed up! Look at all the glowy spots! I have to check that either off screen at some point. Hello, Kami. Oh, that's a little weird. So there really is an island in the sky, just as Father Benedictus said. I wonder if he was right about there being something helpful here, too. Mm. Is that a temple of some sort? Looks like it. Well, there must be some reason we were brought here. Shall we go and find out what it is? And we shall, in the next episode, I want to thank you all for watching, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, you know what to do, I much appreciate you, too. As much as I just want to say, laters.